mirrors. Let's study the uses of a concave mirror first. Have you seen solar heaters? Solar heaters are the devices that use the energy from the sun to heat something. It is the most common device which uses a concave mirror for its function. We already know that the rays of light coming from the object kept at infinity converge after reflecting from the surface of a concave mirror. Here, the sun is very far away and hence the rays of light coming from it are parallel near the Earth's surface. These parallel rays after reflection converge at a point called focus. This focus is a very hot location in space as all the reflected sun rays are concentrated at this point. If we bring a piece of paper at this point, it will quickly catch fire. Now we can use this property of concave mirrors to cook food or heat up liquids. All we need to do is place the container on this stand which is present at or near the focus. It will heat up after some time. You can even make a roti or a papad on this. Where else in the world do we use these types of mirrors? We can use concave mirrors to view the objects which are very far away from us. Yes, I am talking about the astronomical telescopes. How is a concave mirror used in a telescope? When the parallel rays of light from the distant star enter the telescope, they fall on the concave mirror which is placed on the opposite side. This concave mirror then converges all the light at a focal point. So the image of the star is formed at this point in space. The secondary mirror is then placed near this focal point. It's kept like this so that it can reflect the light upwards towards the eyepiece. And the eyepiece has a lens which then magnifies this image. This way we are able to see an enlarged image of a faraway object. This particular type of telescope is also called the Newtonian telescope as it was Isaac Newton who first came up with this concept. Which is the lens used here near the eyepiece? The lens used here is a convex lens or converging lens. Well, we haven't really studied about lenses yet. Don't worry, we will come to that very soon. First, let's continue to study the applications of curved mirrors. If you remember, in the previous videos, we talked about this mirror which can be found in bathrooms. Many men use it for shaving purposes and quite a few women use it for beautification. Yes, this is also a concave mirror. And it must be very obvious now as to why we use it here. Due to the enlarged image, it gives a better view of our face. One more place where concave mirrors are used is the headlights of automobiles. And why do we use headlights? Headlights help us to see things in front of us in dark or in dim light. And using the headlights, we would want to see the things which may be at a sufficiently large distance ahead of us. So how do we achieve that? Let me quickly review something about concave mirrors. We know that when the object is kept at the focal point, the light rays from the object after reflection travel parallel to each other for a long distance. So if we keep a light source, say a bulb, at or near the focal point of a concave mirror, then almost all the rays from the bulb after reflection will travel in one direction. If the same concept is used in the headlight of a car, it will give us the distant view of the road ahead. This solves our purpose of viewing cars or things which are at quite a distance away from us. However, in reality, we don't really want all the rays to be travelling parallel after reflection. That is, we also want some of the rays to travel a bit sideways. We not only want to see the road ahead, but also the things along the sides. This will help us see the vehicles coming from the other side of the road in opposite direction. So for that purpose, we use what we call as deflectors. They deflect some of the light rays by smaller degrees. Now that we're talking about a car, let's discuss its view mirror. What is the use of the side view mirror of a car? Is this also a concave mirror? Watch our next video to know more.